So our portal is literally in a hole. It's like snore. So we have here in a creative world a amazing spooky tree made out of spruce wood out in the uh, swamp here. And um, I have a data pack that makes it so you can make a portal that's not like square, which is super cool for this uh, situation. And with some warped hyphae like growing out of the portal almost looks pretty cool but we're gonna need like two shulker boxes full of spruce logs at least probably more than that <laughs> to to make this happen so uh, the grind is on real the grind aha so we could also have some uh, warped warp blocks kind of drooping down uh, all over the tree to make it seem infected and have almost these like weird alien fruits like hanging down from them. So imagine like the tree died, right? And then it, cause it was getting infected from like the nether, right? The infection like spread throughout the tree. And this is like the fruit or the seed or like its method of reproduction. And so those are now growing from the tree and will like potentially spread. Uh, we're using twisting vines to make to hang something, which usually they, they go up and not down, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, using a shroom light with warped trapdoors around it, so they'll also glow and look, I don't know, radioactive or something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is the master plan. So the way I've been doing this is planting a, a double spruce tree, bone mealing it, and then coming up to the top here just like that and then just sort of chopping it down from the top <laughs> and uh, this method is pretty good i have a uh, haste 2 with uh efficiency 5 netherite axe so when it comes to chopping speed this is pretty much as best as you're gonna get <laughs> um like, you could do a staircase thing, like a 2x2 two two staircase up the entire tree, but I, 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 it, it, it requires a lot more thought and effort and actions. But yeah, I farmed up uh, a shulker box and a third-ish of spruce logs, and we're going to need about two shulker boxes, so we're going to have to fill this one up as well. Uh, but, uh... Yeah, this is how I've been getting my spruce logs. Out here in the swamp area is where we're going to build this tree and uh, have a portal up there <laughs> to get onto the roof of the nether. But uh, yeah, we now have two full shulker boxes of uh, spruce. But I want a hole in the bedrock ceiling, right? I don't want to have to like have two portals to get one for the top and one for the bottom of the nether right so this block or under this block it's one thick on the on the bedrock front and i believe i know how to do this maybe <laughs> you need like some pistons and stuff <laughs> um yeah, let's maybe put like that away <laughs> and put that on just for a bit of extra protection. All right, I think this will do it. So we just meh, meh. Um, it did not work. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. Alright, so I have tried this many times and it didn't work, but I have gone to a creative world, tried some other methods, and one of them actually did work. So we're going to need a few more TNT, because I went through a lot, failing, but uh, we also need like some obsidian and stuff, which, I mean, we have that, but we need more TNT mostly, so we're... Oh. I don't have my elytra on. <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> that could have been my first death. But uh, yeah, we we need to come and uh, 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 kill the creepers. I really do need a a, a creeper farm to get just free gunpowder, cause like 
I also need gunpowder for rockets and stuff, and this is just... I can't be doing this. I can't be bothered to do this for, like, longer, for much longer, because this is quite the hassle. Hey. Crazy baby. Alright, so I tried this one in a creative world twice, and it worked once, so about 50% of the time-ish this will work, hopefully. Alright, uh, zoom. Yeah. yeah. It worked! I think it worked! Hold on. Oh, that way is way better than the last one. Oh. I broke the portal. Uh, uh, I have a thing. It's all fine. <laughs> Did you see him using blackstone for the corners? It, it kind of blends in-ish, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, now we have a hole. Uh, that was way easier than the other method. Oh, that, that was, that was the best method. Okay, I literally just realized this, but there's a bedrock here. <laughs> but that's fine, we can just mine around it. <laughs> It'll just be come up here, and then come up here. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, that's kind of inconvenient, but like, whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't want to break anything else, so it's fine. Also, it's pretty close to this portal, so... Like, whatever, it, 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 it's, it's fine. Now, why do you want to get on top of the nether, you might ask? Well, for string. <laughs> Basically, I want to make a piglin bartering system to get string. And I need gold for a piglin bartering station. So, we need string for scaffolding. To build the tree so we need gold to get string to get scaffolding to build the tree <laughs> uh, so yeah we also need magma blocks and probably turtle eggs right to get a gold farm like I don't even know but yeah, we're gonna need a lot of stuff to get a gold farm, to get a piglin bartering farm, to get string, to get scaffolding, to make the tree. So... <laughs> and now we have almost two shulker boxes of magma blocks. Uh, I don't know if we'll need more, but it's pretty easy to get a lot, actually, so... Nice. And the other thing we need is these turtles to breed. So let's uh, collect some seagrass and uh, breed, <laughs> and then we'll we'll rob their eggs. <laughs> Why? Thank you, kind sir. Well, I've uh, made a piece of a farm, and you can see them just spawning. Attracted to the eggs. Yeah, I don't think I, I'm gonna build an experience farm because like it's too much effort <laughs> Oh, there's magma cubes apparently uh, Hopefully that's not a problem <laughs> Let's uh, <laughs> See what we got. Oh my I don't have a hopper thing yet But this is pretty nice I just realized I didn't measure this to make sure they fall far enough, but apparently they do, so that's good. <laughs> oh. Ah, yes. And of course, when it's raining, Riptide is like even more insane. No. <laughs> 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 oh yes all right so i have got these guys to spawn let's name them <laughs> uh, there we go now we need to just like 
put them in the cells and stuff. We need hoppers. Which, these guys don't like me opening my ender chest, which is super random, like, <laughs> even if you had stuff in your ender chest, Mr. Piglin, I would be able to get to it anyway. Uh, but anyway, um, the, the iron, uh, make some hoppers, mid and then we probably need some droppers. Do I have any cobblestone? I have regular stone because I only have a silk touch pickaxe. Okay. Do you think we should make an, a fortune pickaxe? That's probably something I should do. Because <laughs> uh, cobblestone is useful. So yeah. These guys, I guess, will just wander about <laughs> on the roof of the nether no purpose. Oh yeah, and I have this thing up to three layers now. This top layer is just there to stop ghasts from spawning and ruining everything. Yeah. And it's produced like 20 gold blocks-ish from the amount of time I've been here, which isn't like super long. I'll have to do an overnight AFK session to uh, see how much gold it can make, but Seems to be pretty decent. And bada bum. Yeah, I have an efficiency 5 mending fortune 3 and breaking 3 pickaxe, and it took most of my levels. Sad, but you know. Now we can actually mine all the ores that I've just been saving up. Yeah, there's just some <laughs> diamond ores and things that I just haven't mined because I don't have a fortune pick yet. But now we do. Yay, 10 diamonds. So good. I know I have more. Uh, hello? Aha! And lapis and stuff. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Yay! <laughs> it's so exciting, guys. I have Fortune 3 with this revolutionary technology. Oh wow, a stack and half a lapis. Now we have 60 diamonds, which is like so useful because I'm in single player. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Honestly, in single player, emeralds are like more valuable than diamonds because, like, one emerald can buy you like a diamond chest plate, but you would need eight diamonds to get a diamond chest plate, so it's like man. <laughs> so this is probably more impressive <laughs> which is kinda sad, but yeah. We can make a conduit. Ooh, we should do that. Do 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 ba -da -ba. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. They take forever to mine, I didn't know that. <laughs> so I've built up these guys a, a lovely chamber. And uh, yeah, they've been giving me some string! Oh yes, this is the entire reason we built the gold farm. <laughs> string! Dude, they give you like 20 string for one, uh, for one gold. If, uh... If they give you string, which is like insanely good price, and you also get other stuff, so like, ooh, yes, this is the best day. <laughs> but now we have string, so we can make scaffolding, so we can make the tree. All right, and where are my rockets? Oh, they're on my hotbar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aha, so it's been several hours, in fact, a couple of days, and I actually have started building it out of dirt to like shape it to get the shape down because uh if i built it out of wood and then i have to oh it's way too wide i have to shrink it down now i have to chop everything and down it's just inconvenient so i'm building it out of dirt first and then going ahead and replacing all the blocks with the with the spruce wood and uh the shape is almost done ah hold on for me and, uh, yeah, there's obviously dirt scaffolding everywhere, because I still managed to run out of scaffolding. I didn't actually get that much. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the shape is, uh, getting shaped. <laughs> and, uh, 
yeah, it's definitely, definitely coming along, but, uh, it's just been several hours, so I thought, hey, it might as well record now. <laughs> I think I need some more branches coming up higher, but, uh, yeah. Converting! Converting is happening! Uh, dirt is, is converting to spruce. <laughs> Yeah. Even more converting. <laughs> yeah, we have like one and a half branches uh, converted to spruce now. And I'm thinking we might want some of uh, some more branches coming out even lower maybe. But again, we're going to have that like droopy warped stuff. So maybe that'll kind of drag it down and won't make that necessary. That's what I'm hoping for. I have a new found respect for anyone who's built a massive tree in Minecraft because this is taking ages. Uh, but I mean, from this angle where I've completed the branches or uh, converted the van branches to spruce, it's looking pretty cool. So... Yeah, but this is definitely <laughs> a time-consuming thing. But, oh, it's going to be so awesome. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited. Ah, so now I have like five out of the seven branches complete. And you can really get a feel uh, for how the tree is going to turn out. Uh it's looking pretty cool. I need some more uh, twisting vines in order to get those hingy thingies, which I think are really going to tie the place together. Uh, ooh, lag. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've got most of the branches done, just uh, these two to go. Aha, I've only got one branch left to do. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> it looks so much better without just dirt everywhere. Oh, I love this. Uh, this has been fun. Uh, honestly, this has been fun. I just found the weirdest thing. So if you have vines, like, next to you, and you use Riptide, you, like, go straight up, because you're, like, climbing the vines or something. That didn't work. Me. Hold on. I didn't work. Well, you saw it the first time. <laughs> it, 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 it's weird. You just, like, line yourself up so you're by the vines. Just meet. <laughs> it's kind of fun. And I believe these are the last dirt blocks. Boom, 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 boom. Aha! Now, I believe we are complete, so let's just break the scaffolding, which is always very satisfying. Boom. <laughs> oh wait, no, there's some more down here, where the scaffolding was. Okay, uh, boom. And now we're done. <laughs> ah, let's take a look, let's take a look. Watch as I turn around and there's some dirt. Okay. Uh, we're not going to look at the top there, but aha! No! <laughs> uh, uh, boom. Now we're done, surely. <laughs> surely we're done now. Aha! Yes. Da 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 Floating through the sky. <laughs> Uh, there's still uh, the dirt on the inside, but like, me. <laughs> and this nether rack will become obsidian and will light the portal. Let's do that. Aha! Now we shall light the portal. Ah, uh, yes, with the data pack that makes it so it doesn't have to be square. And now that I'm looking at this. There's like I don't I don't think I like the obsidian exposed. I think we ought to like does that look better? Oh yes. Maybe make it taller. Yeah, okay. I'll 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 mess with it a little bit, but 
I actually don't know whether will it make a new portal or will it come to an older portal? It probably. Oh, yep, it links up to here apparently. And there's a guest. Uh, uh, goodbye. <laughs> uh, and of course we come out here, but. Aha! We now have a beautiful n nether uh, portal tree. Except it's not finished because we need like warped stuff. <laughs> uh, so much work. Uh, let's get to it. Aha! So now we have some like glowing seed things, some of the droopy stuff I was talking about, and it's nighttime, so there's mobs everywhere. <laughs> I have a question. Can a creeper explode a shulker box and then delete the shulker box? Because <laughs> if that can happen, I will be very sad right now. I don't think I lost one. Hmm. Nah, but anyway, the sort of droopy stuff has been added, so now I think we should probably add a few branches uh, a little higher up, a second layer, if you will. Ah, now we have the second layer done, we have uh, three branches, uh, it's looking pretty good from below, I think, rather than from above, so like this angle. Ah, uh, yes, it's looking pretty messy, but I think I like that. It's supposed to just be the spooky dying tree out in the swamps. So, yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much finished. Uh, I also got quite a bit of gold. Uh, aha, yes, the wealth! The wealth! I'm so wealthy. Okay, uh... But yeah, we did a lot in today's episode, and if you enjoyed it, then you're weird. And goodbye!